Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murder here. And I wanted to make a really, really quick video today. I know I have a habit of making extremely long videos uh, to just go over how you can have persistent keybinds through the EverQuest Next Landmark Alpha. Uh, as you might know at the moment, you can't actually go into the game and, and make keybind adjustments yourself. And some people have worked around that by uh, editing the input profile default XML file where the keybinds yeah, key are actually located. Uh, but that gets rewritten every time you launch the game, so you have to launch your launch pad and then edit your file and then launch the game and you have to do that every single time uh, even if you throw read only on or something like that so there is a solution uh, that I figured out based on my experience with uh, Planetside basically since they both use the Forge Lite engine so I thought you know let me uh, let me give it a try and uh, and use the Planetside approach and see if that works and uh, and it does so there are a few caveats, I'm just going to go over that real quick. But if you want to get yourself some uh, some persistent keybind changes in EverQuest Next Landmark Alpha, uh, this would be the way to do it. So you're going to want to navigate to your actual uh, Landmark folder. It's usually in your users, public, SOE, installed games, EQN, Landmark. Uh, and you're going to want to find input profile default.xml. You want to actually have a user one uh, by default. You're going to copy and paste this file. It'll make a, a copy of it. And you're going to rename the copy uh, user instead of default. Uh, default's going to stay exactly the same. You're not going to change anything in there. That's going to be the actual default keybind. So you're going to go into user, you're going to edit it, or you're going to open it in Notepad, whichever, same thing. Uh, and the first thing you're going to want to change is it's going to say default up here for the profile name. You're going to want to change that to user as well. And then you're going to want to carefully delete any of the keybinds that you don't plan on changing. Uh, because there's some sort of conflicts with certain ones, especially like escape for instance. If you don't do this and it has the escape key bound in both the user and the default XML, it'll cause your escape key to not work and you'll have to like force quit the program. Uh, we, f we found that out the hard way. So you're going to want to delete anything uh, from here. As you can tell, my, um, my file is very, very small in comparison to the, uh, to the default, which is considerably longer. So you're going to want to go through, you're going to want to delete anything you're not changing so that it actually pulls the default keybind value for those items. And you're going to want to change the bind uh, on everything else. So for instance, helper show by default is F12. Uh, that was a, a conflict for me because I used F12 for something else. So I just, you know, wrote in F11 to change that bind uh, here. Uh, it'll still say F12 in the default, but that's okay because it'll pull, it'll pull users, uh, you know, it'll overwrite that essentially. Uh, you just don't want to be overwriting it with, with things that you're not changing. I guess that's some sort of a conflict. I use ESDF for movement, so that's what's reflected here. Uh, I use a Razor Naga, so that's these other binds, like my grappling hook is, uh, is my Naga 1 button, and my uh, auto run is my Naga 2 button. So those are the only things I have changed. If you want to change more, you're welcome to put as many in here as you want. You're just going to want to keep in mind the actual um, the strings and, and you know brackets and closed brackets, the actual uh, XML that's going on. Uh, so I would just carefully copy out what you want or delete out what you don't want uh, from the default XML file uh, to make sure that you still have, you know, the action set heading for things like helper show and grappling hook are under generic, uh, the move, movement and strafing buttons are under movement, and so on and so forth. So you make sure that you keep those, uh, those brackets and those closed brackets at the end so that everything works uh, properly. But then all it is from there is deleting what you don't want and changing the actual bind on the things that you do want to change. Uh, keep in mind that certain things will have, uh, I guess the Naga is a good example if you're a Naga user, certain things will have uh, input values that are not what you might normally think they would be. Like for instance, numpad1 is kp underscore 1, numpad2 is kp underscore 2. Uh, so that's how you would indicate that if you wanted to use a, a key like that for your Naga. Uh, I think most of the other ones are pretty straightforward, but uh, if there's any key that you're unsure of, and it does happen to be bound in the default. Uh, you can you know, see how it's written in there so that you know how to write it in here. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. You can just make sure you copy the, copy the file over, rename it to user, rename the profile name to user. Uh, I guess then you could safely rebind the things that are already there that you want and just delete out the other ones, making sure to keep the brackets and, and all sorts of code, for lack of a better way of, of putting it, even though it's just kind of plain text. Uh, but that's it, and uh, you should be able to launch the game. And like I said, if you have any issues, you run into trouble where like your escape key doesn't actually bring up your menu or something like that, go back in and check. Uh, make sure that you're, you don't have it in both places because it, it might cause some sort of a conflict. So use at your own risk, but it probably won't really mess anything up. For me, it's worked uh, beautifully so far. 
So hope that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And uh, you can check me out over at itsmurda.com, streaming on a daily basis, usually playing Planetside 2 over there, uh, hence the background. Uh, but I've been playing a bit of Landmark lately as well. So I will see you guys over there. Thanks so much. Hope it helped you out.